Hi girlfriends, Naturally Rhonda here. For all my old time subbies, thank you, thank you so much. I love you for coming back to watch my videos each and every week. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please stay a while, check out some of my other content. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please click that button down below and subscribe. So this week I am bringing you yet another wash and go combo. As you can tell from the title of the video, I will be featuring Pattern's Stronghold Gel. For those of you that don't know, Pattern is the brand that was created by Tracy Ellis Ross. Love her. I remember when she first launched her brand, it was, I think, a light gel that was offered or some type of a soft hold gel or something like that and i was like eh now nah, i'm good but then when i saw she came out with this stronghold gel i'm all for it i have seen a few reviews on this gel and from what i've seen it can be a little drying so i'm gonna go in with a leave-in first i did not buy the pattern leave-in so i'm gonna try it out with a pretty safe leave-in it's the paul mitchell the conditioner so before i even put any of it on my hair i'm going to do the palm test or the hand test or whatever it's called so when you first open the gel it has this little plastic seal on top it definitely seems to be a thick gel it's not coming off the top i like that so if you don't know the palm test or the hand test or whatever it's called it's basically where you take some of the leave-in and some of the gel on your hands mix them together like this to see if they blend well together i like to wet my hands first because i put my products on wet hair so i feel like water has to be a part of the test spritz my hand down a little Put a little of the conditioner on there, some of the gel, and let's see how they mix. I think we're in business. Nothing is clumping, it's just very thick and creamy. So I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I'm gonna get started. So my hair is already shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned, and detangled. First things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. I always like to go in with my products on wet hair. So I know that ooh, <laughs> I know that this leave-in, the Paul Mitchell D conditioner, can be a little pricey. So I've heard that they have a dupe for it. I think it's either at Sally's or Trader Joe's. I'll try to find a picture of that and insert it here. I think I got this big bottle on Amazon. Okay, my hair is thoroughly coated. Now I'm just going to subsection and then going with the gel. As you can see, it's definitely weighing down my hair, which I love. So during quarantine, or it's not really quarantine. If we were really quarantined, we'd really be like stuck in the house for real, for real, but we're not. But during these last few months of, I guess like, you know, staying at home because of COVID, it's been like, Wow, it's been like five months already. Anyways, during this time, I've been really focusing on staying up with my hair care and making sure I'm deep conditioning and really taking care of my hair. So I was doing that. Then I was like, ooh, I've been slacking on my fitness goals. So I started working out again. I've been doing that regularly. I'm very proud of that. I work out from home. I have a whole routine going for myself, but I realized today I've been slacking on my skincare routine. I used to really be on it and faithful with my skincare routine, but it's something that you need to keep up with. It's something that you need to be consistent with. Just like if you don't take care of your hair, your hair is gonna act up. And if you don't take care of your body, your body's gonna act up. My skin has been showing 
out lately. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I have severe, you know, skin challenges, but I do know my skin and I know that it's been acting up. I've been having more breakouts than I ever have. And I definitely have more texture on my face than normal. I am going to take my own advice that I said a few weeks ago on my um, IG stories. Side note, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should. I post daily content on there. My Instagram handle is at naturally Rhonda. I'm actually just gonna insert the clip here so i just came on here to do a quick little video to talk to y'all about accountability i know that sometimes we agree to do things we say that we're gonna do things and stuff happens we don't that's life and i think that the first step is admitting to ourselves and to other people that okay yes we did fall short we did not do whatever it was that we said that we we're gonna do and forgive yourself to a certain extent because we are all human and it happens the second step do it. Do whatever it is that you said that you were going to do. Actually follow through. And I'm speaking this to y'all and to myself at the same time. So yeah, I'm going to get back on my skincare routine so I can get my skin popping and glowy and luscious looking. I'm going to start back literally today. And once I get back on my routine for a little while, I'm going to film a video for y'all just letting y'all know what I do and showing y'all how I do it. Because quite frankly, I don't see a lot of YouTube videos for black girls with dry skin. That's, I've had dry skin my whole life. I see a lot of videos of black girls with oily skin, but my skin's not oily. So that video will be up on my channel in the future. Okay, so this is what my first section is looking like. I'm very excited. But of course, we don't really know until it's dry. So I'm going to continue on with this same process and I will be back when the product is all in. All right, so I am back. I was under my hooded dryer for about an hour and a half. And these are my finished results. EMG. DJ Taj, Lil E. Empire. This boy, I see Empire. you. Slow Empire. walk for me. I don't want to give you the wrong impression. I need love and affection. Slow walk for me. Let's go. And I hope I'm not sounding too desperate. Uh -huh. I need you. Two step tiptoe. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Stronghold Gel from Pattern. I really like this gel. There was a gel cast, but I kind of like when my gels give me a gel cast. That crunch tells me that I'm gonna get days out of my wash and go. The downside to this product though is the price point. So this isn't a gel that you need absolutely because quite frankly, Wetline does the same thing and it's a fraction of the cost. But if you just really love Tracy, if you really love Girlfriends or Blackish, and you just really wanna support her brand, then by all means, check this out. This is a great product. And I definitely suggest that if you are going to try this, use it with a leave-in, because I can tell that it would be a little drying by itself. Just of course, test out the leave-in before you put it in your hair so i really did enjoy this product i'm just not ready to give up my wet line for this pattern gel but i'm very happy with the way this wash and go turned out that's about it for this wash and go wednesday video this is the moment in the video where i like to point your attention to some of my other content like two more bomb wash and go and elongated wash and go videos i love you for watching y'all please be safe out there and i'll see you in the next one